with all the fanfare Rootsworth could muster, a wondrous feast of quince pie, port basted mushrooms, and a chutney of wild carrots and beets were served alongside the soup. Piles of barley toast and a stout red cheese. Ooh, warmed haybury cordial and chilled mint tea with all their tongues and lifted their spirits. Last but not least was a lofty steamed pudding soaked in pear brandy and set aflame for quite dramatic effect. This was Mr. Coyle's fiery ring of devastation, a fitting, if dramatic, name. Truly, it was a mighty feast, and Sophia was congratulated many times on her fine stew. But her eye would always wander to Liam's empty chair. My friends and fellow scouts, tonight we celebrate a new member of our brotherhood. Sisterhood! Yes, well... Our family all the same. We've all admired your hard work, loyalty, and steadfast spirit. Well done. You entered this camp a nameless initiate. But now, after demonstrating your skill, we give you a new name, known only to yourself and your fellow scouts. Three cheers for Sophia Rymaid! Three cheers for Overwatch! Huzzah! 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 Stand now, scouts, and be sober in heart and in mind. Be without fear, malice, or cruelty. Be true to your word, your heart, and your fellow scouts. Be without guile, and speak the truth at all times, kindly if possible, directly in need. Love Lilygrove, the land, and safeguard any who sojourn in her borders. This is your oath. And we, your witnesses, share it with you. As Captain Robin administered the oath, he saw how sorely troubled she was at Liam's absence. A wise mouse and fatherly, he brought her to the cliff and bid her spy the sexton's field. Through the magnifying lens, she saw her beloved finishing preparations for an even larger party that only waited for her eminent arrival. But alas, the party was never to happen. Not that night, not ever. Seen through the glass, a menacing shape stepped out of the shadows. It was a ragged and filthy rat, dressed in strange garb, and wielding a wicked cutlass. Every beast ran as another rat stepped into the firelight, and then another. Suddenly, Liam was lunging forward with a fiery brand, catching the villain fool on the snout and knocking it to the ground. Sophia was frozen with fear when Robin grabbed her by the shoulders and spoke most urgently. I wish we had more time. But what you do this very moment is what makes you a scout. You have everything you need for this mission. Skills, tools, training. But most of all, you have courage. I bid you make haste to our village. Go to the lighthouse and fire the beacon. Be swift but silent as you must not alert the raiders to our plan. Lend aid where you can, but you must not be captured. I will ready the militia and join you shortly. Every moment counts. Go now, swiftly! Rather much, isn't it? They're just rats. Those bandits have tried to get in here dozens of times. William, there you are quite wrong. Red Wall has been captured before. Even the great fortress of Salamanderstron has been captured by vermin. We should never underestimate the villains who seek our enslavement. It surely leads to defeat. But more importantly, Lily Grove is no fortress. It's a small village with no wall and few warriors. And these were not scattered brigands, but vicious sea rats pirating under the banner of Clooney the Scourge. <laughs> <laughs> 